And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for analysis by Stuart Robson. And we're very much looking forward to bringing you league action today. It's Universitatia 1948, and they take on Argesh. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Could go ahead. And the challenge, crisp and clean. Yanku Asamoa Can they forge ahead? Oh, right in the nick of time Well, the threat was very real. And the penalty has been given here. This to open the scoring here. And there it is. Perfectly executed. Well, here we can see it again. Keeper's gone the wrong way, and it makes for a fairly easy finish in the end. That's how to take a spot kick. And back underway, 1-0 it is. Gabriel Yanku. Akim. Well, they get themselves level here. They just couldn't stay in front. And now this match is all square. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. So back underway. One goal apiece here. Lato Levlic. Well, they have it again. He's enjoying space. Moving into the advanced position. And unable to keep possession. Being pressed and pressed high. Asamoa. Akim. From Durman. Vlad Akim. Precise ball movement. Well, the supporters think it's on. Oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack. And just one minute of time added on for stoppages. Well, he could really get at the opposition. Chance to cross. Now what can they do from here? The end product just wasn't there. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game.
into the second half then and these two sides are locked together just can't really choose between them at the moment Intercepting it intelligently. You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, they weren't at their best, but with that equaliser, you can see why he's so important to this team. Hopefully they can get more of the ball to him in the second half so he can show us his ability. Asamoah looking for that final pass looking for the goal that would put them ahead it did look on for them but not to be Asamoa. Just the challenge that was required. Can he put them in front? Yes, is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. Well, here it is again. And how many times have we seen this in recent games? Teams trying to play out from the back not doing it particularly well, giving away sloppy possession and then getting punished. It's a really poor goal to concede. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Well, great read there to intercept. Well, still time for them to level it. Yanku. So almost at full time, and the home side on course to eke out a narrow win. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, they've certainly controlled the tempo of the game and just about deserved their lead, but they've got to keep their concentration right to the end here. Well, couldn't find a teammate, unfortunately. And a throw-in to come. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Asamoa. And just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. And now passing it through. Defended well. And there it is, the final whistle. And the fans will be leaving the stadium with smiles on their faces. Well, Derek, it was very competitive. Chances at both ends, but I feel they were the better team and they deserve their victory. Well, this man has given us plenty of reasons to dwell on his performance, hasn't he, Stuart? Well, I have to say, that was impressive. Not just his goals, but his...